first of all, the most important thing we do in an eye exam is determine that you're healthy. Uh, because if your eyes aren't healthy, then that's job one. We've got to figure out what to do with that. If your eyes are healthy, your optic nerve is good, your central focus is good, then what we want to do is we want to make you see the best we can see. And then we get into which is better, one or two. One of the things that I do to verify that you are healthy is not only do I take a picture of you, but I also show it to you so you can see what I see. And uh, it really is not hard to look at this and know a disease-free eye versus a, an eye that has a problem. There's ma the major components of the retina is what we look at is the optic nerve, where all the fibers, two and a half million fibers, go out to your brain and the trunks of the blood vessels come in through the middle of the nerve. So here's where we look to see if there's a glaucoma. If there's pressure in the eye that makes the, the optic nerve get bigger the cup out and cup out and scoop out a little bit, we need to be aware of that. Also notice how the blood vessels here roll around and sort of point to an area but they don't cross. This is a unique area. In fact, it's probably the most important area in the eye called the macula. And this is where we get macular degeneration and things like that as you get older. So if this section of your eye is perfect and this is perfect, then you probably have pretty good vision. Uh, certainly this part of the retina is important too for peripheral vision and all that, but these two areas are the ones that I need to look at the most. On this patient, you can see the blood vessels, the dark ones are the, are the veins and the light ones are the arteries. I'm gonna call your attention to one area. And uh, this patient just happens to have hypertension. And you can see the effects of high pressure in the artery where the artery comes out and the blood flow is this. The, artery, the blood flows through the artery, out to the tissue, and then back to the heart through the vein. Notice how this artery cuts this vein in half. And it's a little bit bigger on this side than it is this. So what's happening is that artery is cutting through the vein, stopping the blood flow from getting back out. And this is a typical spot that I would worry about for this patient. I would want to monitor that. Uh, hypertensive retinopathy or disease of the eye because of high blood pressure usually results in bleeding and things like that because the flow of the blood is not what it should be. So this is the type of stuff I look for on every single patient. I love taking pictures of every patient that I see such that I can compare from year to year to year. Um, and we'll go back using this technology to the basic screen and here's several pictures that we've taken of this patient using different angles. And every picture I take comes up on the screen and some people it takes a minute or two to boot because I have so many photographs of them. Here we've had one, two, three, four visits and you can see there's different levels of, of uh, clarity in these photographs and this we didn't dilate him so we said boy and, and I got the pupil shadow so what we did is we dilated the eyes and then took this picture. Uh, you'll notice too with this technology that we can put pictures up side by side so you can compare one to the other uh, right versus the left. And when I typically look in a patient's eye, it's hard for me to remember exactly what I saw from one eye to the other. But with this, throw it up on the screen and now I can compare the right eye to the left eye. And again, notice asymmetry. This optic nerve isn't exactly like this one. You know, this circulation, we were looking at the circulation here. Let's look at the circulation of the, the other eye and see what it looks like. And I bet you typically we'll find them to be very similar. Um, and again, here up here, you have another situation when the artery is cutting through the nerve or, or through the vein. Now, notice too there's a little white streak going through that artery. That tells me to watch out for cholesterol, you know, things of that nature. Um, you know, notice little spots here that we can pick up. So these things, these are drusen, you know, just broken down areas underneath the retina. This is probably something floating in the gel of the eye. So all these things document to the nth degree, you know, there's 30 miles of blood vessels in this photograph. Now get your head around that, you know. The uniqueness of your eye, and I, my personal feeling is the greatest organ that we have and probably the greatest creation uh, because of the way it works. So studying your eye, photographing your eye gives me the ability to look at you from year to year to year and notice modest changes. And um, we're all going to get old and we're going to lose our health and we're going to die. And my job is to make sure that you stay healthy until you get to that point. And uh, with your eyes being photographed, we also take the pressure in your eye to make sure there's no glaucoma or, or increased pressure. Uh, certainly you can have glaucoma without having increased pressure. So that's why we have to be on task and do a lot of things for you. Uh, the Alan Gervais exam is all about quality of care and covering all the basics. Before you even get in this room, 
we have you in the, in the pre-testing area and we do a field exam which examines all the, the uh, points around in your peripheral vision which is a, a problem with glaucoma and also other diseases and it's also a neurological test so that we know how your brain works. Uh, we have auto refraction done which is um, a uh, computer analysis of your, the depth of your eye, the curvature of your eye so that we can anticipate what your prescription should be and then we of course take the photograph. So, you know, all this data gathers up and is sent to me in this room and then we sit and talk about it. This is the pre-testing area. This, this is an area we have three instruments here um, such that we can do screenings to find out if there's any peripheral loss of vision. The first one here is a Humphreys Matrix Vision Analyzer. Uh, this is a field exam and this tests your peripheral vision. The eye exam, uh, when you're doing the refraction, which is better one or two, we're mainly looking at your central focus. This tests your peripheral vision and your night vision. Uh, it's a simple test. I like it because it's simple. It uses frequency doubling technology, which is the latest and greatest in, in the eye care field. And this will pick up a field defect before any other instrument will. So I love machines that detect disease early. Turn over here and look this way. We've got an auto refractor. This machine is uh, tried and true and a wonderful asset to the eye exam in that it predicts nearsightedness or farsightedness and astigmatism. It takes measurements of the cornea uh, and gives me uh, input as to what the refraction, what your prescription might be. This is the camera. Uh, it takes pictures of the back of the eye. can take pictures of the front of the eye, but usually we use it just for the back. Uh, allows me to um, document, photo document everything that I see. Uh, it's basically my memory so that when you come back in a year from now I can just look at your photograph instead of looking at my notes and trying to remember what I saw. Um, latest and greatest technology and everything that I know to get and I, it uh, makes my job simple.